Under Reporting, Invoices, you can see a list of all invoices in your account, as well as a filtered list of invoices with an overdue payment. To make changes to an individual invoice, including adding a note, overriding a payment option, or applying a payment or refund, head to the invoice itself inside of a project. Underneath the line items, you can add a note to a specific invoice with the Notes button. Under the Invoice Options tab, you can choose to override your account's normal payment option settings for this project only. For example, if you usually accept credit cards, but you don't want this particular client to pay with a credit card, you can uncheck this box. The changes will be live on the invoice once you click Save. Under Invoice Options, you can override your current global setting to bill to the client's name or company's name for this project only. Dubzada will number your invoices automatically, counting up one number for each new invoice. You can manually override the number of an invoice by clicking on the number and typing in something new. Keep in mind that you can't have two invoices with the same number, so it's not possible to use the current date as the invoice number for multiple invoices. If you've manually entered in a number that's higher than the current count, the next new invoice created will count up one number from the highest number in the system. If you receive a payment outside of Dubzado, you can apply the payment to the invoice manually. From the Apply menu, choose Payment. In the modal that appears, enter the date, method, and amount of payment. You also have the option to add a payment description such as a check number. Click Apply when you are ready to apply the payment. You'll then see the payment appear at the bottom of the invoice. If you made a mistake, you can click on the gear icon to make changes or the trash can to delete the payment record entirely. If a client requests a refund, your first step will always be to issue the refund through the payment processor where the payment was made. Once you have issued the refund, you'll want to record the refund on the invoice in Dubzado. From the Apply menu, select Refund and enter the date, method, and amount of the refund. The refund information will appear at the bottom of the invoice. Just a heads up. Issuing a refund in Dubzado does not send money back to the client. Be sure to issue the actual refund through your payment processor in addition to updating the Dubzado invoice. Tip number one. Applying a refund will not affect the remainder on an invoice. This ensures that you will not end up with an open invoice after refunding a client who will not be paying you the full amount on the invoice. Tip number two. A sample project is a great place to practice different invoice features. Once you're done with testing, you can delete sample invoices to make sure your bookkeeping is accurate. Just be sure to delete individual payments on the invoice and then the invoice itself.